What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Nice back once again. So today we got a small install that we're going to do. Um, you can see the trailer door won't lock like it's supposed to. Uh, this is all beat up. So what we've done is... Uh, as you can see, when it locks and you drive down the road, it pulls open. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to put this locking bar on it right here um, <clears throat> really out here just like this uh, and then we'll mark our holes we'll drill it and then we'll put our hasp right here so it should be straightforward so I need to go get my uh, tools and what we're going to use to install this thing is uh, I went and I had some, uh, I don't know, quarter inch plates lying around, eighth inch. Uh, and I used a sawzall to cut them in half for the length. And there'll be spacers to fit behind here. Uh, for the hasp, I have this. Uh, this is probably a quarter inch. It will go on the back of the door back here. Uh, we have some three inch, five sixteenths. Uh, they call them carriage bolts because you have the square and what they'll do is they'll fit in right just like this uh, in the square here and you won't need a uh, socket and a wrench to put them in you'll just need a wrench to uh, tighten the bolt so uh, I need to go get a couple more tools we have a uh, 21 64 inch drill bit we are using our trusty Bauer um, 20 volt lithium driver from Harbor Freight. Love me some Harbor Freight. Uh, so I'll get y'all strapped up and we'll get started. All right, as you can see, we got our hose marked. Um, so basically we need to uh, take this off, drill our hose, and then we should be good to go. Um, you're supposed to be using tamper proof screws, but of course, when I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and all those places, they didn't have any. So I just got regular carriage bolts. Because uh, as you can see, these are kind of square. So this carriage bolt, which is, uh, I believe it's 15 sixteenths, will fit in there and it won't move. As you can see, it'll fit in there. It should hold it. Uh, and we'll just come all the way through. That's the reason I got these big washers put on the uh, back side so when we uh, drill a hole through our wood these uh, washers will hold nice and sturdy and hold it in place so uh, here goes nothing so let's put our bit in My only fear is, is that we're going to run into our speed track up here. Uh, so hopefully, uh, let's see if I, we have a speed track. E track right there.
I think we should be good though. The reason I got longer bolts is because uh, we're drilling all the way through just in case and if they're excess we can always cut the bolts off so We got a hole drill. We'll put our boat in. We'll get one of our plates, put that on. Get our other boat, stick it in. Looks like our plate is a little bit too long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go use a sawzall, trim this plate down some, and I think we should be good to go. Uh, but I think I may just use the aluminum that I bought because it's a lot easier uh, to cut, and it's pretty much the same size already, so. And this is it. Aluminum, so basically we need to mark our holes, come back, drill it, done deal. Got a hole drilled through. I had to sacrifice our last uh, fast track. Uh, so I had to cut this piece out just to get our bolt through. Uh, but now that it's through, I think we should be good to go. Uh, we'll put the boat in and tighten it up and then we can work on our hasp. So yeah. There's our bottom bolts. If I need to, I can come back and cut these off with the Sawzall uh, just to make them flush, but I don't think uh, that's the issue right now. Uh, so we'll leave it. So now, what we need to do is 
uh, put our hasp on and mark it. We got our uh, holes marked, so all I gotta do is get our uh, 2164 drill bit and drill the holes through. I'll put some bolts on, put the backing plate on, and we should be good. So let me drill these holes real quick and I'll be back. There's a metal bar in here, a metal tube, so that should be good and sturdy. Uh, we just got to tighten this top boat up and we'll be good to go. It's too long to stick out uh, since we took our uh, actual latch off. So I used the old Sawzall Chicago, <clears throat> Chicago Electric uh, to go ahead and solder the boat off uh, to give us some more room. So now it's just a matter of putting our latch back on and see if it works. Here's a moment of truth. Yeah. Looks pretty good. So hopefully this will hold uh, the door from flying open while we're riding down the road like it has in the past. Uh, so we shall see. And I spent 34 bucks on the lock bar itself. Probably another five dollars or so on uh, the bolts and nuts and washers. Uh, tools I've already had. As you can see, our door is black because we had to replace it because it flew open and tore apart. So uh, 
overall. I think it's a pretty easy job. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell down below so you get all the notifications next time we do another video, which will be coming soon. Um, on to the next one. Peace.